This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. The second woman, I'm gonna bring her up to the stage and she's gonna talk all about how she met her now husband. Let's take a look at her story. I typically asked my husband out on our first date on Valentine's Day. I'm Pause. She asked him out for Valentine's Day. The biggest holiday of the year for love. And she asked him out. Now, again, she can get away with that. You guys, don't be asking these new girls out on Valentine's Day. I've done it before. It does not typically result in a relationship. But if she's coming to you, again, that has her starting at 75% interest. All systems go. Met him the day before Valentine's Day, seven years ago. And he was telling me that he worked in fashion. I had a fashion show because it was New York Fashion Week the next day. So I was like, do you wanna come? I can get you a ticket. I immediately liked him when I saw him. So we were like flirting. Then he asked for my number before we left. We were actually- So so good on him. He, he diligently asked for the number. And so I tell you guys, even if she's starting the interaction, you gotta know the part that you play in this. And so you gotta make those moves. Even if she's coming to you, don't expect her to do all the, all the stuff. She approached, he asked for the number. Even exchange, very good. We had a dinner. So I get home and I tell my sister because she was visiting me from Mexico. I'm like, I just met this guy. I'm obsessed with him. I'm in love. What do I do? Already obsessed. She's now, you can't, again, this is the part where you can't let women's words trick you, right? Because she's saying in the story, she's saying, oh, I was in love. But if she were to say that to him so early on, and then he was like, oh, I love you too. And I have these feelings, isn't that? Trust me. Her feelings, the probability of her feelings continuing to stay at love levels is probably not there. But also, she's saying, I love you, but she's really saying, I have a strong infatuation for this guy. So you can't let women tell you these things early on and think that, okay, that's okay if I say it too. Again, sometimes women say things in the moment because they're feeling things, but their words aren't actually really conveying what they're feeling. So she's saying, oh, I really love this guy, but it's really more like, I'm infatuated, I have a strong like for him, I still need a bit of time before I really actually get to the love stage. But right now, this is kind of feeling similar to what love should feel like, even though I need to really vet him and date him for a little bit longer. She's like, what are you talking about? I was like, I don't know, but I'm in love. So the next day comes around and I'm waiting for his text to be like, okay, so what's up with the show? But I got no text and it was- Okay, so why was she waiting for that text? Because up to this point, all the guys that she has dated, after they first met and got exchanged numbers, were instantly texting her and trying to have her on the phone nonstop. Notice she's with none of those guys now. Meanwhile, the guy that she's thinking about is the guy that has been taking his time to potentially reach out to her. So I tell you guys, you don't lose points with highly interested women if you are a little delayed in texting. And you'll find that if you're a bit delayed in your texting, surprise, surprise, she may end up reaching out to you. But does that happen in this story? Let's find out. Like Valentine's Day, so I didn't want to be a freak and message him. But then my sister's like, just message him. Like, what do you have to lose? And so I literally texted him at 2 p.m. On okay, so I want to see what this text, these texts say, right? So it's her texting in the blue. She says, hi, nice to meet you last night. Let me know if, if you can't, I can, can. Let me know if you can still make it to the show. He responds back and says, hey, nice to meet you too. What time and where is the show? I'm at uh, some other show at the moment. She says it's at 3.30 Gotham Hall. There's an after party too, if you can make it. So what is she doing? Again, what is she doing? She is not only setting up the date plans, she's setting up two dates in one night. We're gonna go to the fashion show first and then hey, afterwards we can go to this other party. So she's already setting up all the things and all he's gotta do is just show up. Now again, this is I, I wanna stress to you guys that these are the moves that you should be bold enough to make, but when women make them, all you gotta do is just respond. And notice, he just responds, says, perfect, we'll come to, pick, we'll, we'll come to Gotham, sure about at the after party, uh, see you at whatever, this is net, right? He's not, he's not doing what? He's not overreacting, he's not trying to give her extra information that doesn't need to be there, like, oh, I'm so glad you asked me for this party, I really thought you were so cute and beautiful when I first saw blah, blah, no, no, no. She's sending out things. He's simply responding to the things that she is saying to him about this thing, right? You keep your responses simple. Notice his, his responses don't go over more than like one or two lines. So this also goes to, as a guy, you shouldn't be sending these long drawn out texts. All your responses to women should be no more than two, three lines at most. Any more than that, you start visually 
start looking needy and desperate. Like I know it's a weird thing, but yes, the longer your text, the more desperate for her attention, it looks like you're being. And so you want to keep your text short and succinct. Also, guys shouldn't be overly wordy anyway. Like back in the day, the strong silent type was a thing. So for texting, it's like the, the less words you say, the more you can get your point across in less words, all for the good. All right. Just wanted to point that out. On Valentine's Day. And he came to the show and met my sister that day. I'm honestly thankful my sister told me to message him because otherwise it would have been like, no, he needs to text me. Later. Okay. So she would have been like, he needs to take blah, blah, blah. And what if the sister was smart enough to be like, look, chick, like, shoot your shot or don't. But like, don't, don't be like, like, oh my God, I the guy needs to do this is net. And and to her credit, she listened to her sister. Why? Because she had a high interest and she didn't want to risk her not being able to have a Valentine's Day date, to be able to have a, a long-term interaction with this guy on that date night. And so she bit the bullet and said, you know what? I'm going to put my pride and ego aside of the guy having to text me. And this is what women that will, women that have high interest will do this. They will put aside their ego of the man's got to be the one and be like, but I don't know if he's going to know that I want to, I got to do a thing. That's what you really want. Later on, he told me that he didn't want to message me because he didn't want to seem so intense. Anyway, take a chance because you never know what the other person is thinking. So I like what he said to her. He said, I, I didn't want to seem too intense, so I was waiting to text you. And that was the right move for this guy to make. And that's why I tell you guys that sometimes you're not aware that holding back is actually going to work in your favor because again, this guy was good. This girl was highly interested, right? So if he had happened to wait three or four days to text her, what was the outcome going to be? She had high interest. She wants to see him. She just wants to hear from him. She just wants to be asked out. She doesn't care if it happens tomorrow or a week from now. Whenever he asked her out, her answer was already going to be yes. And this is why I tell you guys to test this out with women because you want to deal with women that aren't going to be butt hurt or more importantly, are going to be willing to reach out to you if you're not texting them all the time or texting them at the time frame that they thought you should have texted them. Like, she's thinking, he should have texted me. She didn't get mad at him. She listened to her sister and said, I'm going to text him and then got the date out of it. And so that's what you want to happen. These are, this is how you test out to see if a woman has a good head on her shoulders or not, or is emotionally stable and is able to be patient or not. So you guys are worried about like, if I don't text her right away, this texting is not a ticking time bomb. The interest is going to be there. And so you text her a day from now or four days from now. But I tell you guys to wait a little bit because you see what happens when you do. She's thinking, he didn't text me yet. I want to hear from him. Oh, my God, I'm anxious. I'm nervous. I want to hear from him. I should reach out. That's the result that happens when you're the one that's being patient about this. Oh, yeah, you just never know. Anyways, that's my story. And a great story it is. And now she's been married to the dude for like seven plus years. It's been fantastic, right? So again, what do we learn from this guy? That when a woman cold approaches you and you get her number, don't do what most guys would do, which is go home and start texting her right away and start trying to get in contact with her and plan a date that same night because it doesn't leave room. You're not leaving room for her to show you that her interest is actually on a higher level by worrying about, I want to hear from him now, but I'm not what's going on. By making her be the one to eventually reach out to you. Like these are the things that again can happen when women that cold approach you, they give you the information. It's like, the, again, if they're cold approaching you, the interest is already there. The worst you could do is try to push her interest more because you're thinking, I got to do all the things now in order to keep the interest up. No, you don't. She sought, she sought you out, which means the interest is already there. You just got to be able to manage it, navigate it, and make sure that you're responding when appropriate.